Welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the new layer management effect in Lumion 8, which has completely revolutionized my workflow, especially us working with 4D animations and just those of us who utilize layers a lot, because this, this is definitely something very welcome. You know, before, let's jump into before i really just start talking let's jump into this scene here so we're going to talk a little about layer management in general so here we have an example scene here and I, I don't believe a lot is really set up in these layers so really quick um there's a huge advantage on large scenes by setting things up by layers you know sometimes scenes get so large you know, our frames for a second go down really low and it's just annoying to work with and it's it's hard to preview things when it's going so slow it's frustrating um, but being able to have things lay organized by layers really helps speed things up clears out things that we don't need to be seeing at the moment so really quick I'm gonna organize this scene right now so we're gonna learn a couple things if you don't know about this before I want all of my trees for example to be on one layer so I'm going to go select, select all objects in, uh, in category. So we grab all plantings at once. Now I'm going to click on, I'm on layer two. I'm going to go move selection to layer. Welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the new layer management effect in Lumion 8, which has completely revolutionized my workflow, especially us working with 4D animations and just those of us who utilize layers a lot, because this, this is definitely something very welcome you know, before let's jump into before i really just start talking let's jump into this scene here now we're going to talk a little about layer management in general so here we have an example scene here and I, I don't believe a lot is really set up in these layers so really quick um there's a huge advantage on large scenes by setting things up by layers you know sometimes scenes get so large you know, our frames per second go down really low and it's just annoying to work with and it's it's hard to preview things when it's going so slow it's frustrating um, but being able to have things lay organized by layers really helps speed things up clears out things that we don't need to be seeing at the moment so really quick I'm gonna organize this scene right now so we're gonna learn a couple things if you don't know about this before I want all of my trees for example to be on one layer so I'm going to go select, select all objects in, uh, in category. So we grab all plantings at once. Now I'm going to click on, I'm on layer two. I'm going to go move selection to layer. Let's go ahead and name this trees. Just have cap locks on. So now we can turn them all off at once. Now let's try something. Now the rocks. Are the, are the leaves here are they kind of their own little category even though they're in the same planting thing we're gonna call these leaves and I'm going
going to do the same thing select all objects in category and move selection to uh, to layer bam oops gone and let's try something with like interior furniture now it's not this is not a huge scene but this will work for for our needs and we'll have interior I'll just call it furniture move selection to layer turn off and let's add the actual model itself so house go to imports select this right here and bam our whole oh, looks like we got some stragglers here I'm just gonna go ahead and find my filters here and just throw these into the trees there we go so our, this is a managed scene there's trees there's our leaves here's the interior objects and the house so I'll say this was a big object a big building or your your hardware just is struggling on even the most basic things this is a great way I mean there's a lot of people who work on laptops or older computers uh, everything new just seems to add you know cost more and more in uh, performance this is a great way to minimize that and get the best uh, performance out of out of your card so now I'm going to show off this effect so here's our scenes here it looks pretty barren without all the trees here so the effect is called layer visibility here I'm going to make sure we show it it's in with the animations which these are off of course for still photos and it's layer visibility so what you can notice is gone is the hide layer and show layer effect now I used to utilize I mean those of us who followed my 4d animation tutorials you'll know that layers were very important and we would add multiple multiple hide layers on each layer and each one had its own slider to control and show layer I just that's just if you want a, one layer to overwrite everything it'd be the only thing shown which I never used they've combined basically all of those into one and this is like a dream come true really here's the layer visibility effect so as you can see we get all the all the layers on here and they're even retained the names before I would have to double check what layer 16 was now the lay the names all come through and in fact it's showing five but sure enough if you add up to all 20 layers let's go up to 11 here you'll see they all show up in here so so in this scene we can toggle trees on and off leaves on and off and furniture on and off and so we want this one to be all barren we want this shot let's go layer visibility again to have furniture on in this shot we want to have our trees on but no leaves or no furniture I'm not sure why but this just kind of the idea well, that's actually a really cool looking shot right there let's just add our leaves wouldn't make sense with no trees so let's just add our interior furniture there you go and I think that really showcases the basic use of it what's also nice is that the way these are keyframed let's go ahead and do this shot here where we want the trees to pop on so here's a keyframe the trees off let's make sure to reset all of these again so house on and trees off and then we want the trees to turn on right here so let's make sure to reset all of these and we want house on and now the trees so pops on just like that we could do another one we gotta kind of turn everything off first and then put things back on so we'll do the house and the trees and we'll have the leaves popping so imagine this for 40 this is this is great for a 40 animation it's great for showing things off really quickly toggling things off where it was really tricky before with the high layer effect 
So very excited for this. This has pretty much changed everything for me. It's basically been whatever <laughs> everything I ever asked for. When I first saw this, I was really nervous. I was like, oh no, what did they do? Why did they get rid of the high layer effect? That, that just messes everything up. And I was like, well, this is great. But I didn't see that there's a keyframe here. Once I realized that they have a keyframe there, bam, that was, I mean, this is just awesome. Uh, layer management, I really recommend utilizing it more for big scenes to keep things nice and tidy and organized. There's a lot of cool things I could be doing with, I could do with this. For example, even though there's one frame, the tree's off and then the tree's turned on right there. I could do, take this into post-production and do a cool fade effect just right from there. It might be another tutorial to talk about. But that is all for this tutorial on layer management. I hope you guys learned something on here. hope you guys use this effect. Use the layers. It will save you so much time, especially on the larger scenes. And please like this video. Subscribe if you like more content like this. And please leave in the comments any ideas for future tutorials you'd like me to cover. All right. Well, that is all. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.